As we kick off this year with a new point of view, why not give our smiles the sparkle that will make us want to be seen? Today, we'll welcome a cosmetic dentist who will share her wisdom on dental care and a path to a new smile. Here to tell us how we can shine brighter this year is Dr. Andrea Joy Smith. Hey, Dr. Smith. Hi, Desiree. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. We're happy to have you on. So let's start off with the basics. Why is it important to get routine checkups with your dentist? Because some of us put them on, Dr. Smith. So tell us the importance of it. Well, the importance is a lot of times some dental problems do not have symptoms. So you could actually walk around with periodontal disease or a small cavity, something that you would never be aware of unless you visited your dentist. So the most important thing is to catch things when they're early before they turn into something more serious and more difficult to deal with. Yeah, we wanna make sure we tackle that early on. What would you say keeps people from fixing their teeth? It's a combination of things, but largely it's fear. That's what I find. Because um, if they stayed away from the dentist for a very long time, due to some previous dental experience that they've had, chances are they want to stay away for as long as they can. <laughs> and sometimes they call us at that absolute last minute when they can wait no more. Yeah. So fear is, I think, the main uh, driving factor behind that. Yeah, and would you say, is there a dental option out there that addresses these concerns so that if we do need to get our teeth fixed, we can kind of work with somebody that can make us feel a little bit better and ease those nerves? Absolutely. In my office, we offer oral conscious sedation. And what that means is we um, have you take a few pills, one the night before, because a lot of times when patients have a big dental visit coming up, they're very nervous the night before and they don't get enough sleep. So we give them that tablet the night before in order to get them to relax. And then the morning of, we give them another tablet about an hour before they come in. Now we want them to be able to walk in. So we only give them a small dosage just so that the sedation process gets started. And then once they're in our office, we give them the additional medication. And 99.9% .9 of the time, the patients fall asleep without us having to do a more risky sedation like IV and things of that nature. The oral conscious sedation works really well to uh, lay their fears. Yeah, and knowing that your patients were able to get a good night's sleep the day before, so they come in a little bit more relaxed, I think that could just help the process immensely. Uh, we have you on the show pretty frequently, Dr. Smith, and you talk about mini dental implants. Who would you say makes a good candidate for mini dental implants? Yeah, there are lots of patients that make good candidates for mini dental implants. They are small in diameter, so patients who have been told that they don't have enough bone. If we're looking at the patient that you're showing right now, she stayed away from the dentist uh, for years because she didn't feel that there was a solution that would make her uh, feel comfortable enough to go through it. So these patients that have been staying away for a while, all three of those photos that you just show, they purposefully stayed away until they found a solution. And when they heard about how minimally invasive, how less expensive, and how much downtime they actually have, they couldn't wait to get those smiles transformed. And as you can see, we did a really good job at it and they are extremely happy. Yeah, you see the difference in those before and afters. Dr. Smith, how do you and your team ease the nerves of your patients when they're coming in for a procedure? I know we talked the night before making sure they get rest, but when it's procedure day, how do you make them feel a little bit more relaxed? Procedure day, uh, basically, we if they've taken that medication the night before, they are, I'd say, maybe 25 to 30% uh, relaxed. But then once we sit them down and we talk to them face to face, really, it's just that human connection, that feeling that I really am going to be under the care of someone who, who actually cares about me as a person, as well as wanting to fix my dental work. So it is that initial contact that makes the patient feel, uh, they, there's a saying that says, people don't care how much you know, until they know how much you care. And in our office, we try to really hone in on letting them know how much we care long before we put them through the dental visit that they're about to go to. And could you, oh, that's good to know. And can you walk us through the process of how many dental implants are installed for those who might be considering that option? Yes, uh, I'm gonna co contrast it a little bit with how the larger diameter implants are done. With the small diameter implants, we can really put an implant in in one day and that same day they can walk away with a stable denture we put four small implants into the jawbone and we snap those dentures into place 
oftentimes when there's larger diameter implants, and there's certainly a place for that for patients that have a lot of bone and other reasons, those larger diameter implants, will have they have to be buried under the tissue for about three to six months. And so they're walking around with implants under the gum that are not being used. And so our process of being able to place the implant in one day, rather than having a second surgery to uncover implants that are buried under the gums mm. to do the final restoration. So the steps are just, uh, we anesthetize the patient, obviously, we get them nice and comfortable, we place the implant, and then we either fit the denture or we uh, place a crown on top of that tooth just so that they are able to walk away with something uh, restored, a tooth that's in place, a denture that is stable. They can walk away with that that same day. There we go. I'll take any advice from you, Dr. Smith, because that smile, that's the type of smile I'm trying to get. So thank you for joining you. us today. We <laughs> always appreciate your time. You can find out more by going to smileagainnow.com.